It's time for today's Bulldog Conversation, presented by the Sanford Sports Network. I'm sitting with John Clemenson, professor in the Journalism and Mass Communication Department here we have on Sanford's campus, and we're actually sitting in the broadcast studio of the department. It's great to sit here for a few minutes and talk with you. The Journalism Department this year is celebrating 25 years. Um, right. Had a big thing about it at homecoming, but the department's older than 25 years. Can you take us back through the history and why it is that we're celebrating 25 years this year? We're cel celebrating 25 years as a re reconstituted department. Okay. Uh, the program, the journalism program at Sanford actually started in uh, the 19 teens, uh, w then Howard College. Wow. And uh, it was going along fine for decades until the early 70s. And uh, at that time, the editor of the student newspaper got into a tussle with the president of, of the university over some issues that uh, were kind of benign, no, nothing about alcohol or drugs or anything like that. And uh, the department was actually closed down for about a decade, oh, wow. mid-70s mid to mid-80s. And w coming back in the mid-80s, it was you that came to Sanford to start that up. Talk a little bit about where you were before Sanford and then what drew you to Sanford and what, was your, what were you thinking when you came to this school? Um, I was at the University of Florida okay. and I got a phone call one day from uh, a dean so-and-so at uh, such and such a university and he laid out a scenario and it sounded mighty interesting. I was always interested in being in journalism administration, higher ed administration. And uh, <clears throat> he uh, got through this scenario and I said, well, I'm interested. What do you want me to do? And he said, well, I want you to fly to Birmingham and I kind of shot out of my chair and said, excuse me, Birmingham, Birmingham where? And he said, Birmingham, Alabama. And I said, what university is this? And he said, Sanford. And I said, oh, I thought you said Stanford. Anyway, I came <laughs> and interviewed with Dr. Quartz. He shared his vision for the department. And uh, that fall of 85, I showed up here. Uh, I had, uh, I was the only full-time faculty member, mm -hmm. had a, a part-timer who uh, was a senior faculty member from another institution who mentored me for a year uh, and we started small with a handful of uh, students mostly from the English department um, and some others from across campus who had been well tended by the English department and Dr. Nancy Witt for about a decade as a concentration in journalism uh, and we started with print which was the logical thing to do back then because print then was not what it is today. Uh, started small and thought big and uh, we then moved on to broadcast journalism and then public relations journalism and then advertising. Great, and you mentioned some of the improvements you've made uh, over the course of these 25 years. What would you say maybe um, top two things that you're most proud of that the department has achieved in the last 25 years? Oh, I think we uh, have turned out some of the best and brightest students uh, Sanford has ever seen. They are the best ambassadors for who we are and what we do here at Sanford. Uh, We've been helped by, by the administration in providing us with the technology, both hardware and software, that uh, helps make us get where we want to go. Now, talking about where, where you want to go, what do you see for uh, perhaps the future for the Journalism and Mass Communication Department? Do you have a, a much fuller staff than you did 25 years ago? So what, what are your big dreams now? Well, I think um, we have brought the uh, curriculum into the uh, multimedia age. Uh, it's commonly referred to as converged journalism. Okay. Students are pre we're preparing students for the web as well as print and broadcast. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think for the future, we just have to kind of keep up with where the profession is going, quite honestly. I know that sounds kind of strange that the, the tail would be wagging the dog, but uh, that's the way the profession is going and it's changing dramatically on a daily basis, it seems. It sure is. You, you make one adjustment to keep up and then the next thing you know it's already outdated. We, we redid our curriculum four years ago and we're looking at it again this spring. Wow, it's amazing how quickly technology is changing in today's Absolutely. age. Absolutely. Well, in, in closing, tell us a little bit about how if maybe there's a student that's interested or just someone listening that is interested maybe in finding out more about the department, how, how might someone go about finding more information? Well, I think the first place to look at is on the web. Uh, that's where most 16, 17 year olds are looking these days. Uh, we certainly have a, a, a good example of our work. We have our curriculum outlined there. 
uh, samford.edu slash journalism uh, and uh, um, a visit to the campus and see the facilities that we have would probably be a real good thing too. Like the facility that we're sitting in right now Absolutely. for the uh, broadcast. That's, Absolutely. Yeah, that's well. Great, it was great to sit and talk with you for a few minutes again. That's John Clemenson, professor in the Journalism and Mass Communication Department. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Bulldog Conversation with Nathan Troost. The Adventure Bus Charters Halftime Show continues in a moment. This is the Sanford Sports Network.